Good morning. It's the, um, what is it? The 18th of Tuesday, the 18th of um, August, uh, 2020. All right. Um, so, just going to make a video here. This here, what are we looking at? Shell shock. It says right here, two player ambush. Um, I'm, if, if, in case nobody knows, I'm a big fan of ambush. I was a big fan of ambush back in the day, actually. I would probably put it in my top 25 games, right? It came out in, I don't know, 1982, 83, 4, yeah, somewhere around there. I remember it came out because I wasn't working. I was still just a, a kid, really. And um, so I was having to rely on, you know, those games. Uh, the, I love victory games. And those games, Ambush and uh, what's the other one? Mosby's Raiders. Uh, gosh, I played, I still got most of these Raiders in there. I got both, but most of these Raiders I played into almost dust. It's, 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 it's pretty beat up. Um, but I played Ambush a lot too. Um, I didn't have a lot of the modules and stuff for Ambush because like I said, um, I got one or two. I might, I might, I might have move out. Um, but I, I, wasn't working and what money I was making to buy games with, you know, I would come home from school and there was a lot of, uh, we had a lot of trees. We had fall, fallen trees on a property and stuff, uh, my daddy's property. And, um, we would, uh, I would, he would let me, if I split the, the that wood up, I could sell it for people with their barbecues and, um, uh, stuff like, uh, and even fireplaces, you know, if it was winter. Um, so, I would do that and people would think um, people would think that that wouldn't be too hard but daddy wouldn't let me use a chainsaw uh, I don't know scared I was young scared I'd cut my arm off or something I don't, I don't know so I had I'd come home from school get the hammer a sledgehammer get the hammer and a wedge and go out there and split logs hardwood logs pine or something like that uh, we chipped it so it didn't but um, I split those split, split those hardwood logs and um, it's a hard work, uh, so that's 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 how I would save what little allowance I would get or sell stuff, sell them uh, that wood um, to get the game. So I didn't have many of the, you know, the modules for the ambush. Uh, move out, I think I have, and that's it. Um, and most of these raiders I had, and but this came out in ninety, is it? It says 89, but I'm sure it came out in 90. Yeah, 90, 90 Victory Games. This is really when um, Victory Games is not even viable anymore. You know, Avalon Hill, there was a, there was a division of Avalon Hill. Um, was just producing stuff that using the Victory Games name, but it wasn't. I don't even think they had 90. They don't even think they had. They didn't even have offices in New York or nothing like that. Um, I guess they stopped being viable in 89 and so um you know they they uh, wrapped up what games that they had in work in in Avalon Hill and, and they produced one of the victory games uh, company name but uh, they really weren't victory games our victory games really weren't around and then they even produced a couple of games that had nothing to do with war games or anything like that by victory games later on and use the same uh, branding, um, but this so ninety. I was I was work I was working, I was uh, wasn't wasn't splitting wood no more. I was working, and so uh, I didn't buy this. Uh, I, I heard about it. I've never played it. Uh, I didn't buy this back then because why well, have two player ambush? That was my feeling. Uh, uh, I thought it would just be too clunky for two players, and you know when you're playing one player, you can move slowly and whatnot. So I just, I just dismissed it. Um, around the same time, I bought another game, uh, Peloponnesian War, with a victory game under Victory Games uh, banner, and uh, which came to be a pretty good game. Um, I played it a lot. So um, I love Victory Games, man. I don't think they have. There's not many games that. Um, you know they're 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 the spiritual successors to Avalon Hill for or no SPI excuse me they're sp spiritual successors to SPI TSR might have been the actual successors but 
Victory Games is this were other spiritual successors for uh, to uh, SPI, and um, they just didn't have. But unlike SPI, they they didn't put out as many games, but they didn't really have clunkers. They had all good games. So uh, I expect this one to be the same. Um, so let's look at it. Uh, I just picked this up a couple days ago for for like twenty bucks. So um, you know, it's well worth it. I think uh, Shell Shock is a Shell Shock is a two-player game of combat, adventure, and heroism in World War II. In World War II Europe, adapted from the award-winning and incredibly popular ambush solitaire game, uh, in each of its uh, uh, oh, in each of it of its uh, in each of six missions, one player uh, commands a squad of German infantry, while uh, another player commands a squad of American, British, or Soviet troops. The player deter the players determine the composition of their squads, men, weapons, and equipment, and purchase lot and heavy supports uh, to assist them in their mission, in the mission. From foxholes, what's that say? From foxholes and barbed wire to artillery support, every play playing is a different as intensity of battle mission objectives forces and weather change okay um i'm hard reading through this viewfinder there's more in my eyes <laughs> I, need, I need new glasses i'm just not, i need to go over and get some um this game contains one okay uh, we will look at that um saw their super suitability low obviously it's supposed to it's from what i understand it's a, i've never played it but it's a double blind game um and complexities, uh, middle high, okay. Let's look at it and see what we got here. Yeah, it's a double blind game. Uh, we got cars. What are these cars? Allied roll call. Hmm. Uh, I do, I do, I have understood it doesn't have a cartridge. You know, you're, you're, it's double blind until you, you somebody gets in the line of sight of somebody else, right? Uh, that's the way I understand it. What is it? Allied. Commander, I thought these might be enemies that pop up. Allied soldier, I'll we'll see about that. We'll see what that is. I guess German roll call. Okay, German commander. All right, German soldier. Yeah, these are German soldiers. These are the cars. What's there? All right. Neat, neat. And then, what are these? Groovy vehicle. Yeah, vehicles, that's right. Special gas. What is kind of special gas pop up? Heavy support. Random event card. Okay. Fate. All right. All right, let's. Some cards, some of the, here's a mission book, okay, so it's going to be the scenario, well, not just the scenarios there, give you victory, how many it is, except for special missions, there are four possible ways, for mission to end, mutual destruction, yeah, defense crumbles, yeah, sudden death, okay, at three, so there should be one more. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Yeah, this is four. Mutual destruction, attack dissolves, defense crumbles, and sudden death. All right. So we got two mission books, I'm assuming. They're the same thing, just for. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got the rules book. Let's find a sequence of play here. Um, course of play, that's it. That's the terminology used here. Generating a mission, commence operations. Yep. 
commence rounds mission ends yeah it's it's huh it's interesting it's just is yeah, like ambush right except there's no I don't believe there's a cartridge you just are but it's the same movement how does that move how the movement look attacking units moving during operations and rounds but defending units move only during rounds okay huh all right all right well we'll, we'll see you we got here allied vehicle display okay okay pa passenger vehicle wow oh the german vehicle display too crew vehicles passenger vehicles all right of course of course we'll need those okay. more vehicle displays okay is there two more there no this one Okay, you got your player car. I like these in Ambush. I said, Ambush, man, that, that thing was innovative in its day. I mean, you play it now. I played it not too long ago. And it can be a little frustrating, a little, a little clunky, but boy, still very innovative. Oh, I like the color coatings there. Damage effects. All right, so it's a... Uh, a play aid, three three point chart. It, I'm assuming you can set up like a like a screen because you know I guess it's going to be double blind at least for parts of it. There's a movement diagram. All right, same thing. Oh, here's a map. Finally, we get to look at our first map. Let me move some of this stuff out the way. Oh, wow. Let's see what the map looks like. Move you to. Yeah, that's. Looks like one of the ambush maps. This, the. Uh, this. This. Uh, Yeah. Combat results table, yeah, okay. Look at that. Look at what's that Tommy gun there? Or, yeah, look at that. Huh. Yeah, the map does remind you of ambush map. I don't know, the colors do something. It's okay. It's just that the colors do something to me. Um I don't know. It makes me feel a certain kind of a way and I'm not sure how. Um I don't think yeah, it's okay. Um, it's okay. It's just not not great, but it's not bad either. Uh, okay, that's 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 map. A map. Oh, let me see if I can get this folder up. Yes. Uh, that still ain't right. Or maybe it's just the way. No. No. You know, we'll tear it up for it to play. And something just don't feel right about the way it's folding. I am particular about. Way this stuff folds. I'll admit to that. I'm a particular type of a person. All right, well, I'll look at it here in a minute. What else we got? These, I guess, are the. Okay, got two. All right. Those would look more like uh, some of the ambush map look, look, but again, the colors, I don't know, they make me do something to me, and 
counters. Of course, you're going to have a ton of counters. That's like an M, but got a handy dandy. Oh, oh, yeah. Counter tray, 2D tens. Counters should be, should look okay. Whoops. Most of these are gonna have like little pictures and stuff on them. There, that's ambush. It really is two player ambush. So. Yeah, looks good. Looks okay. Looks good. Nice, colorful things. Colors look good. Yeah. Counter tray. So bad. Those these are terrible counter trays. That's why you gotta put them in the bottom so they don't uh, put them in top. Turn it upside down. Counters will be everywhere. They just, but, but, you know, they're going to sort stuff out here. All right, so. Yeah, this is your character sheet. Heavy support. Okay. That's somebody play. All right. How many of these you got? Oh, a bunch of them. All these character sheets. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay. I said cars always like that. Do a friend a favor. All right. Well, that's it, man. That's the unboxing uh, show shock. Maybe I get. I want to get to this. Um, well, probably won't get to it as soon as I'd like to. I'll have to read the rules and get that down and worked out. I keep hitting my camera. But uh, that's it. Shell shock. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Um, stay safe. Be careful. Get everything done you need to. I'll talk at you soon. Y'all be good. Bye-bye.